What would the global economy look like if the dominance of the dollar came to an end? In a multipolar world, the idea of the dollar ruling the economy seems less convincing. Consequently, the world's leading economies need to take action. This is precisely what China and India, two of the economically leading nations, have done. They have decided to abandon the dollar and conduct trade using their local currencies. However, experts predict a possible backlash, potentially including sanctions from the United States. The question then arises, will these two nations be able to withstand such pressures, or will they eventually capitulate? Let's find out. India and China have agreed to conduct import transactions using their local currencies instead of the US dollar. This agreement, involving two of the largest economies within the BRICS group, marks a defining moment in the ongoing efforts to reduce dependency on the US dollar in international trade. This move is not just a bilateral arrangement, but a strategic step towards economic independence and stability for both nations. The BRICS group, comprising Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, has long sought to diminish the dominance of Western financial systems. By choosing to settle trade in their local currencies, India and China are taking a concrete step towards this goal. Let's talk about it in detail, what really happened. India and China, two of the most influential members of the BRICS group, have agreed to use their local currencies for conducting import transactions. This agreement was confirmed by the Maldives Economic Development Minister, Mohamed Said, who highlighted the Maldives' role in facilitating this groundbreaking deal. The arrangement stipulates that 50% of the Maldives' new import bill, totaling $1.5 billion, will be settled in Indian rupees INR and Chinese yuan CNY. This equates to approximately $750 million worth of transactions conducted in local currencies, significantly reducing the need for US dollar-denominated trade. And the rationale behind the move. The primary motivation behind this agreement is to reduce dependency on the US dollar, a currency that has traditionally dominated international trade. By shifting to local currencies, India and China aim to bolster their economic sovereignty and reduce vulnerabilities associated with dollar fluctuations. This move is part of a broader strategy within BRICS to promote economic independence and stability by fostering stronger financial ties among member nations. For India and China, the economic benefits are substantial. Utilizing local currencies can lower transaction costs by eliminating the need for currency conversion, which often involves fees and fluctuating exchange rates. Furthermore, it can enhance the stability of bilateral trade by reducing exposure to dollar volatility, which can impact the cost of imports and exports. But what role is Maldives playing in this? The Maldives plays a crucial role in this agreement, acting as a mediator and facilitator. The country's involvement underscores its strategic importance in regional trade dynamics. Minister Seed's confirmation of the deal highlights the Maldives' proactive stance in fostering closer economic ties with its larger neighbors, India and China. This collaboration is expected to benefit the Maldives by reducing its reliance on the US dollar and enhancing its economic stability. This agreement is not an isolated event, but rather a continuation of a broader trend among BRICS nations to de-dollarize their economies. The de-dollarization strategy aims to diminish the global dominance of the US dollar by promoting the use of local currencies in international trade. This approach is driven by several factors, including the desire to reduce exposure to US monetary policy, which can have far-reaching implications for countries heavily reliant on the dollar. Within the BRICS framework, there has been a concerted effort to explore alternatives to the US-dominated financial system. This includes initiatives such as establishing the New Development Bank NDB, which aims to finance infrastructure and sustainable development projects within BRICS and other emerging economies, using local currencies wherever possible. The India-China Agreement is a tangible manifestation of this broader strategy, demonstrating the commitment of BRICS nations to fostering a more balanced and multipolar global financial system. Now the question is what will be the immediate economic impacts of this? First, let's talk about its impact on India. For India, the agreement represents an opportunity to enhance its trade relations with China, its largest trading partner.
By settling trade in Indian rupees, India can reduce its foreign exchange risks and strengthen the internationalization of the rupee. This could lead to increased stability in import costs and help Indian businesses plan their finances more effectively. Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Africa's geopolitics, economy, and changing landscape. Let's continue now. China, on the other hand, stands to benefit from the increased use of the yuan in international trade. As part of its long-term strategy, China has been actively promoting the internationalization of the yuan to reduce its dependency on the U.S. dollar. This agreement with India is a significant step towards achieving that goal. By increasing the yuan's presence in global trade, China can enhance its financial influence and promote the yuan as a viable alternative to the U.S. dollar. And what will be its impact on the dollar? One of the most notable impacts of this agreement is the potential reduction in demand for the U.S. dollar. Given the substantial trade volumes between India, China, and the Maldives, the shift to local currencies could lead to a significant decrease in dollar-denominated transactions. This reduction in demand for the dollar could have broader implications for the global forex market, potentially affecting the dollar's value and its role as the world's primary reserve currency. The India-China agreement is likely to set a precedent for other BRICS nations and potentially other countries seeking to reduce their reliance on the U.S. dollar. If successful, this model could be replicated in other bilateral and multilateral trade agreements within the BRICS framework and beyond. Such developments could lead to a more diversified global financial system, with multiple currencies playing significant roles in international trade. And are there any concerns to be taken care of? While the move represents a significant shift in global trade dynamics, there are several concerns and considerations regarding its short-term effects on the economies of India, China, and the Maldives. One of the immediate concerns stemming from the agreement is the potential for increased currency volatility and exchange rate fluctuations. While settling trade in local currencies can reduce reliance on the U.S. dollar and mitigate exposure to dollar volatility, it also introduces new risks related to fluctuations in the value of the Indian rupee INR and the Chinese yuan CNY. Another immediate concern is the potential for trade imbalances and payment risks associated with settling trade in local currencies. While the agreement aims to promote bilateral trade and reduce dependency on the U.S. dollar, it may inadvertently exacerbate existing trade imbalances between India and China. Given the significant differences in the size and structure of their economies, there is a risk that one country could accumulate a large surplus or deficit in trade settlements, leading to imbalances in the balance of payments. Moreover, conducting transactions in local currencies introduces payment risks, including delays, defaults, and disputes, which could disrupt trade flows and undermine business confidence. What reaction did this get from the experts? One of the most prominent reactions to the agreement is the perception that it will enhance economic cooperation between India and China. By conducting import trade in local currencies, the two countries are expected to strengthen their economic ties and promote bilateral trade. This could lead to increased investment, job creation, and economic growth in both countries, benefiting businesses and consumers alike. The agreement is also seen as a step towards strengthened regional integration within South Asia and the broader Asia-Pacific region. By including the Maldives in the agreement, India and China are signaling their commitment to fostering closer economic ties with their neighbors. This could pave the way for further regional cooperation and integration, leading to shared prosperity and stability in the region. Many analysts view the agreement as an opportunity for India, China, and the Maldives to diversify their currency reserves away from the U.S. dollar. By settling trade in local currencies, these countries can reduce their exposure to currency risks and enhance the stability of their foreign exchange reserves. This could strengthen their financial resilience and reduce vulnerabilities to external shocks in the global economy. The agreement between India and China to ditch the U.S. dollar for import trade represents a notable shift in global economic power dynamics. By reducing reliance on the U.S. dollar, two of the world's largest economies are challenging the traditional dominance of Western financial systems. 
While this shift may enhance economic sovereignty and stability for India and China, it could also lead to tensions with Western powers, particularly the United States. The U.S. has long enjoyed hegemony over the global financial system, with the dollar serving as the world's primary reserve currency. Any challenge to the dollar's dominance is likely to be met with resistance from the U.S. and its allies, potentially leading to geopolitical frictions and economic sanctions. The agreement also has broader implications for the BRICS group and its objectives of promoting economic cooperation and development among emerging economies. Do you support this decision? Is this move by China and India the cause of many other nations doing the same? Let us know in the comments section, are we finally going to witness an economic world with no dollar hegemony? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, African politics, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Like and share the video, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's the best way to support us.